Welcome guys to today's class. In today's video, we want to discuss another important experiment in practical physics and that is experiments on determination of height of a ceiling. Yes, we want to use simple pendulum principle to what? Determine height of a ceiling. So what is the aim to determine the height of a ceiling of a room using simple pendulum principles? That is the aim. Yes. In our last video, we were able to see how to what? Determine the periodic time. The relationship between periodic time and length. Yes. That is our last video on practical phases. So today's on, we want to discuss how to determine the height, capital H, of a ceiling of a room using simple pendulum principle. So if you are new to our channel, if this is the first time of coming across our video, yes, you are welcome. You are welcome again and again. Don't feel free, click subscribe, like our video, share it to your friends because you surely enjoy it. Yes, if you have any difficult, so to speak, or you have a question, so to speak, use the comment box and ask your question, okay? Yes, the apparatus needed for these experiments are pendulum bulb, thread, stopwatch, a pendulum bulb suspended from the ceiling or some other high point. Method, adjust the pendulum from the ceiling so that its bulb is about H equals to 10 cm, this small letter H, from the floor. Record the exact value of H and measure time for 10 oscillations twice. Repeat the experiment for H equal to 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 centimeter. Yes. So we want to go into the diagram setup of this experiment, that is the experimental setup of this experiment. How does it look like? This experiment, what does it look like? How is the diagram like? We'll look into it and see our table of values yes because that is the ball game that is the the main coco the main thing so to speak so we'll see the table of values and start to go ahead with the graph plotting so this is the diagrammatic setup of this experiment where you see the ceiling you see the thread holding the pendulum bulb then you see the distance from the ground to that uh, pendulum bulb and you see the distance from the ground to the ceiling, which is your capital H. This capital H is called the height of the ceiling. You are measuring it from the ground. Yes, but this small H is this distance from that pendulum bulb to the ground. They said in that procedure. And so this is how the experiment have to be what done. You are measuring the distance from the ground to the pendulum bulb as 10, as 20, as 30 as 40 and as i performed this experiment in my lab i came up with this uh, uh, table of values so to speak i want to make use of it so this tm means the mean time the mean time that is t1 plus t2 divided by 2. so when we finish uh, filling this table we'll see the questions we are towards this call. i'll be calling the question one after the other and we'll be taking care of it. Okay, for the first mean time, we say 18.03 plus 17.84 divided by 2. We'll have 17.94. You write 17.94. Then, remember, we are dealing with 10 oscillations. 10 oscillations, not 20 oscillations. 10 oscillations okay 16.68 plus 16.43 divided by 2 16.56 16.56 then 15.67 plus 15.54 divided by 2 16.61 15.61 okay 14.07 plus 13.53 divided by 2 13.80 13.80 13.80 13.80 13.80 13.80 13.80 13.80 13.80 13.80 13.80 13.80 13.80 13.80 13.80 13.80 13.80 13.80 13.80 13.80 13.80 13.80 13.80 13.80 13.80 
13.80 then 12.62 plus 12.77 divided by 2 12.70 10.92 plus 10.31 divided by 2. That is 10.62. Nine point four five plus 9.19 divided by 2. 9.32. Then 6.13 plus 5.83 divided by 2. That is 5.98. So from our results here, you will see that as number of fights increases, the mean time is decreasing. So we have a negative graph, a graph with negative slope. So for this one, this divided by number of oscillations since we noted that this is equal to t over n so each of this mean time divided by number of oscillation 10 will be having 1 1.794 1.656 1.561 1.380 1.270 1.062 0 0.932 0 0.598 you see so this is the square of the period 1.794 squared 3.22 3.22 1.656 squared 2.74 2.74 then 1.561 squared 1.561 squared 2 2.437 2.44 1.38 squared 1.90 1.27 squared 1.61 1.062 squared 1.13 0 0.932 squared 0 0.932 squared 0 0.87 0 0.598 squared 0 0.3 this okay we have made our table of values so we want to go into the question for this experiment and number one question demands us to what plot a graph of h h against t squared that is question number one Plot a graph of h against t square. How do we do that? This is our what graph sheet. And I used to say, first and foremost, write the date. Yes, I write the title. A graph of what? A graph of what? H is e m against what? T squared in second squared. I know why I do not want to claim this part. It is because this is table of value. The table of value should be facing your graph sheet so that you will not, you will not make mistake. It should be close to your graph sheet. So if I clean it off and I don't have this table of value, you will find it difficult to plot our what points. So we are going with what? How to plot this against what? T squared.